Hi, this is George Cow, and welcome back to the LinkedIn course. All right, so let's dig into the first concept, which is to setting, uh, which is how to set up an optimized LinkedIn profile. And the reason to do this is because LinkedIn is essentially, for many people, a a, a public rolodex. It is a directory of professionals and business owners and career builders on the internet. And there are more than at this time more than three hundred million active LinkedIn users. And so, um, and everyone's there for business and professional networking. So it's a really great way to find new clients and to find people who can refer you to new clients. And the way that people find you is when you have an optimized profile on LinkedIn. So how do we do that? So let's go ahead and dig into each concept one by one. So first of all, I'm going to just make this a little bigger here. Make sure that you don't have a duplicate profile on LinkedIn. Now, now this might uh, be obvious to some of you, but a lot of people, when they get invited by a colleague or friend to LinkedIn, they forget that they already have a LinkedIn profile, and so they accidentally create another LinkedIn account. I've had uh, several clients who have done this, so I wanted to show you this real quick. You want to just make sure you don't have a duplicate profile. So how do you do that? You go to the LinkedIn search, and then you um, search your name. So uh, search your name. I'm going to just try mine. First name, last name. Okay. And then once I type that in, scroll down, and I click location anywhere, and I click search. And let's take a look to see. Okay. So obviously, I already have a LinkedIn profile, and I know I don't have a duplicate one. But if you keep looking down, there are several. I'm, I'll, what I recommend you do is when once you search your name, look at all the results to to make sure you know you don't have you didn't create another one. So you might, so if I don't know, maybe that's um, that's one of my profiles as well. Um, you know, uh, I don't know that person personally. Well, he's I guess he's a LinkedIn connection. I acquaintance maybe, but I'll, I'll click through to this person to see if that might be me. And this person only has one connection, uh, so it's maybe just a brother of that person. So you see how I'm doing it is just going through and clicking on each one to, uh, so I live in the United States, so I, I wouldn't have put Hong Kong for my location, for example, so that's definitely not me. But if I keep going down and down and down and none of these are me, um, and then when you get to the bottom, you want to click next to go to the next page and just kind of keep going again. And I'm just going to see, just you can generally look at the, some of the information is their professional headline, does that describe you? Their location, does that describe you? The industry, does that describe you? You know, none of these uh, describe me. Um, <clears throat> okay, this person, now I was born in Taiwan. I'm not living there now, but I'll click through to, you know, who knows, maybe I created a duplicate account with that. Um, I, you know, this person joined the textile group, and I'm, you know, even though my family has been involved in textiles, I'm not personally involved. So, so that's I know that's definitely not me. So you see how I'm doing. So that's what I recommend you do: go through and see if you have any uh, duplicates, possibly. If you do find that in some one of them might be you, uh, then I've given you instructions on how to. This is actually official instructions from LinkedIn. Um, waiting, waiting for it to load. Anyway, I clicked on this link, and it should open this page. And just please follow these instructions to um, merge your accounts into one. Um, I actually don't know if you can merge accounts, but you can certainly export the contacts from one account and import it to another account, and then close the the account that you don't want anymore. All right, so I hope that's helpful, and I look forward to seeing you in the next module when we'll start talking about how to fill out your LinkedIn profile in an optimized way.